Um, so first things first, uh, have you always lived here in Rome? No. Okay. Um, well, tell me a little bit about how you ended up living here. Um, let's see. I was living in Nevada and decided to move back to Rome to be close to family. Had a family that had a house for sale in Rome. I moved there and then eventually bought the house, and that's how I've been living here for about 10, uh, maybe 11 years now. Okay. You said that you are a homeowner. Is that correct? Mm -hmm. Okay. Um, me, myself, I personally rent my home. It is a, a brick a ranch-style home. Um, would you mind telling me a little bit about um, what kind of home you live in? Yeah, it's a brick um, I guess it would be a one story, but it has a. It did have a garage underneath one of the sides that we converted into a bedroom. So it's a relatively small house, probably about uh, six seventeen hundred square feet. Uh, basically, one main level of living. Uh, that's brick. Yeah. Okay. Uh, do you know like when you moved in? Yeah. So uh, what was it? It was. Uh, I think it was 2009. Okay. All righty. Um, do you have rooftop solar for your home? No. Okay. Um, why not? I, uh, really, I don't know enough about it. Okay. It, yeah, I, I wouldn't mind. I'd be I'm okay. open to it. I'd be uh, comfortable with it. I'd like to know what it does, but I don't know enough about the concept of residential rooftop solar. Okay. So um, you said that you don't have it on your home. Was that decision, um, was that a decision that, that you made, or was that something that was made for you? Uh, it would be a decision that we made. There was never, um, nobody thought about doing that before we bought the house. So it would, it would have been that, in a decision that we made in in the respect that we never really considered it. Okay. Um, so if you if you had the the option, you said you would put rooftop solar mm -hmm. in your home. Okay. Why why do, why would you? Uh, just to save costs on energy. Uh, I like the concept of solar energy. I'm I'm open to alternative energies, and I would like to try to use something like that if it's cost effective to cut reduce my energy bills. Okay. All right. Now, I'd like to talk to you just a little bit about solar adoption in general. So the first thing we have here is a map of the United States. And then there's you a pen. Um, so where do you think people have the most rooftop solar energy on their homes? And then could you just draw that on the map for me? Okay. Um, what makes that community so different from people um, here in Rome? Uh, I just guess that um, that's just Southern California. I assume that they're very um, they're very proactive when it comes to alternative energies, and so it's just an assumption that they would they would adopt those the rooftop solar okay. panels. All right. Now I'd like to know. Do you know who has the most? I I really don't. I really don't. Um, I can find out for you, though. I can find out for you. Okay. Um, so, now we're going to talk a little bit about um, <laughs> Georgia. So, in what community here in Georgia do you think people have the most rooftop solar on their home? Man, I'm going to... I would say, like, Sandy, Sandy Springs. Yeah, probably. Yeah, I'll, I'll pick that. Okay. Um um, well, what makes people from that Sandy Springs community so different from people here in Rome? The only reason I pick that is I assume that they, I, I assume that it has a, a significant upfront cost for insulation, and I just assume that it being a probably an area that has um, higher income families, they would be able to afford installing solar panels. Okay. All right. What about most of your close friends here in Georgia? Do they have solar on their roof? No. Okay. Uh, why do you think they don't? Uh, a, they don't know about it as an option, or B, I'm assuming this the cost for insulation. They okay. haven't tried to install it. All right. Is there anything else that you might like to add? No. Okay.